Well, if you wanna increase the performance, decrease the power consumption, decrease the temperature, reduce the noise, and maybe get rid of that very annoying coil whine that your card makes, this is the video for you, especially if you have an RTX 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte or 16 gigabyte, because this video is targeted towards them. It will work for every custom model, MSI, ASUS, does matter, and it will also work on an RTX 4060 actually, because they share much of the design. We're gonna do some undervolting, which is actually better than overclocking today's cards. So I'd say we get straight into it and we get tuning. Let's go undervolt them. Okay, so here we are now. For the tutorial, you will need two pieces of software, MSI Afterburner, this one, and Heaven Benchmark, this one. Both of them will be linked down below in the description from the official website. So you wanna uncheck the full screen option here and then max out all the settings right there. This is just to stress your card better and then we want to run heaven benchmark give it a few seconds to load up and then you want to hit the windows key and open msi afterburner our tuning software right there i'm gonna give you two different presets okay the first one is gonna be what i recommend for most people and it's gonna be the best one for basically performance but not absolute performance temperature power consumption and coil wine if you want absolute performance, the second preset is gonna be for you, okay? But I do recommend for most people the first one. So let's get started. You wanna go into settings and enable voltage control and voltage monitoring. Hit apply, hit okay, it will reboot after burner. Wait a second, here it is, nice. At this point, we wanna click on curve editor right there. This will bring out our nice curve. Now we wanna hold the shift key and grab the 900 millivolt voltage point and raise it all the way up to 2550. As you can see, the whole curve is going up to 2550. It doesn't have to be exact. It can be 2551 or 2549, no issues. Okay, at this point, release shift. And now you wanna click in the middle void point between the 900 millivolt voltage point and the immediately after point, holding shift clicking on the void and drag it to the right. This will select the whole curve, okay? And now, release shift, grab a voltage point and bring it all the way down, right there. At this point, we hit apply. And as you can see, the curve has flattened out completely. So this is the actual undervolting curve and we have already done it. Now, another little thing you can do is if you can unlock the power limit and temperature limit on this card, we cannot, it's already maxed out, uh, but it's not gonna matter. Then you wanna go into memory clock and give it plus 800 to get some free performance and then hit apply again. And this is done. The first preset is done. We can save it in a profile, check the profile, check after burn to start with windows and set it to start minimized and we are already done, this is it. However, in case you want some extra performance, stay tuned for the next uh, preset. And also, if this doesn't work for you, you might wanna lower it to 2500 megahertz, okay? 2500 is gonna work even for the worst card, this one is gonna work for 99% of cards. Anyways, let's reset it, and let's do the performance one, okay? So, first of all, we, we wanna uncheck this thing. Perfect. Now, as we did before, but with the 950 millivolt point, hold shift, grab the 950 millivolt voltage point, raise the whole curve up until you hit 2750, okay? In this case, 2751, it's gonna be the same. Now, hold shift, click on the void, select on the right the curve, release shift, left click, bring it all the way down. Hit apply, curve set, fully flattened out, 2750. Now, memory clock, hit a nice 800 right there. Hit apply, we are golden. Now this is more aggressive, this is gonna be stable for less cards. So if this doesn't work for you, you might wanna set it to 2700. So for example, in this specific card, as you can see, at stock, it's boosting at 2730. So probably 2700 is gonna be better. So you wanna reduce it by 50 megahertz if it is slightly unstable, but this is it for today. And again, this is gonna work for every RTX 4060 Ti in existence. And actually it's gonna work for the 4060 as well, be it eight gigabyte or 16 gigabyte. If it was helpful, please drop a like and a sub. I have many more tutorials and also computer builds on how to build proper computers for cheap on the channel. 
it really helps a lot if you have any issues drop a comment see you in the next one guys bye